a very cheerful good morning to all of you welcome to the english class so now student today we will continue our chapter number 10 the name of this lesson is not a little comet okay students so today we will discuss the word meaning and question answer of this chapter now before starting this i would like to share a video for better understanding okay it's a naughty little comet are you an obedient child Do you want to know what happened to the comet who didn't heed her mother's words? Let us read this poem to find out. There was a little comet who lived near the Milky Way. She loved to wander out at night and jump about and play. The mother of the comet was a very good old star. She used to scold her reckless child for venturing out too far. She told her of the ogre son who loved on stars to sup and who asked no better pastime than in gobbling comets up. But instead of growing cautious and of showing proper fear, the foolish little comet edged up nearer and more near. She switched her saucy tail along right where the sun could see and flirted with old Mars and was as bold as bold could be. She laughed to scorn the quiet stars who never frisked about. She said there was no fun in life unless you ventured out. She liked to make the planets stare and wished no better mirth. than just to see the telescopes aimed at her from the earth she wondered how so many stars could mope through nights and days and let the sickly faced old moon get all the love and praise and as she talked and tossed her head and switched her shining trail the staid old mother star grew sad her cheek grew wan and pale for she had lived there in the skies a million years or more and she had heard gay comets talk in just this way before and by and by there came an end to this gay comets fun she went a tiny bit too far and vanished in the sun No more she swings her shining trail before the whole world's sight but quiet stars she laughed to scorn are twinkling every night so you understand why it is said better safe than sorry okay children i hope you have understood this video okay so now children let's start with the question word of this chapter okay now number 1 comet c o m e t comet number second reckless r e c k l e w s number third mop m o p e mop number fourth gobbling g o b b l i n g number fifth wrist okay the f r i s k e d now let's start the word meaning of this chapter number 1 comet yes that means a mass of ice and dust that moves around the sun and looks like a bright star with a day yes comet hum kya bolenge a burf kya hai ye burf aur dhool ka ek dravyaman jo suraj ke charon or ghumta hai aur ek pooch ke sath ek chamakdar tare jaisa dikhta hai now number second reckless showing a lack of care about danger and the possible results of your action yes the khatre mein hum baat karte hain ki reckless kya hota hai khatre ke bare mein jaise dekhbhal ki kami aur aapke karyo ko sambhavit parinam dikhana in other word we can say as a careless okay number third one yes which means weak 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 means kya hota hai kamzor number 4th gobbling yes which means eating something very fast and greedily number 5th steak yes which means boring and old fashion 
Number six, trail. Yes, a long thin part or line scratching <clears throat> behind or hanging down from something. Okay, student. In other words, we can also say as a mark or footpath. We can also say as a mark or footpath. We can also say as a mark or footpath. We can also say as a mark or footpath. We can also say as a mark or footpath. We can also say as a mark or footpath. We can also say as a mark or footpath. Number seven, Rick's. Yes, rain or jumped playful in a lively and happy way. ये मतलब क्या है कि जो भी जो comet था comet के बारे में जो बात हो रही थी क्या था एक खुशमुशाज है वो झूमता है दौड़ता है या कूदता हुआ मतलब क्या है in a lively and happy way. Okay, now let's start the question answer of this chapter. Question number one: What did the comet love to do? Yes, student, comet को क्या करना पसंद था? Yes, comet love to wander out at night and play. Yes, जो comet को क्या पसंद था? Comet को रात को बाहर जाना और खेलना पसंद था. Okay, number second: Why did the mother star scold the little comet? जो mother star है, वो जो comet है, जो छोटा comet है, little comet है, उस को स्कोल क्यों करती है स्कोल मीन्स क्या होता है डांटना आंसर इज द मदर स्कोल्डेड द लिटिल कॉमेट बिकॉज शी यूज टू गो फार वेरी फार फ्रॉम हर हाउस उसको क्यों डांटते क्योंकि जो कॉमेट है वो क्या है <coughs> ये जो वो क्या वो अपने जो हाउस से है वो बाहर दूर चली जाती है ओके नंबर थर्ड Why did the comet do instead of growing cushions of the auger? अब हम बात कर रहे हैं कि इसकी कि जो comet है, है ना? जो comet है, जो comet की हम बात कर रहे हैं, जो comet कैसे auger से भरती सतर्कता के बजाए ऐसा जो comet है ऐसा क्यों करता है? Okay, the answer is the comet move nearer to the auger. Yes, instead of growing cautious, हम बात करते हैं जो comet है, जो बढ़ती हुई सतर्कता cautious का मतलब क्या होता है सतर्कता, okay? कि बढ़ती हुई सतर्कता होने के बजाय वो क्या करता है auger के करीब जाता है, okay? Auger के करीब वो क्या करता था move करता था, he moved nearer to the auger. Okay, now let's start question number four. What did the mother star's cheeks grow one and pale? Yes, the answer is the mother star's cheek grew one and pale because she was sad. Look, the question was that the mother star, her cheeks, they were how they were? One means what is it? Weak. And what did they do? They were pale. Why did they do that, students? Because she was sad. Because she was sad. Who was sad for her? Yes, little not. कॉमेट के लिए दुखी थी ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ हाउ डिड द फन एंड फॉर द गे कॉमेट यस द मतलब जो गे कॉमेट का फन कैसे एंड हो गया था यस द गे कॉमेट वैनिश इन द सन जो गे कॉमेट था वो सूर्य में क्या हो गया था गायब हो गया यस वैनिश मींस यस स्टूडेंट डिसअपियर लॉस्ट ओके सो द गे कॉमेट वैनिश इन द सन Now let's start number question number four. Answer this question with reference to the contest number one. But instead of growing cautious and of showing proper fear, the foolish little comet age up afraid of. Yes, student. Question is here. Who should the comet be afraid of? Yes, comet should be afraid of the sun. Comet को किससे डरना चाहिए था? Comet को sun से डरना चाहिए था. Yes, comet should be afraid of the sun. Now, next, why and who told the comet to be cautious? किसने और क्यों कहा कि comet को सतर्कता रखनी चाहिए? Yes, the mother star told the comet to be cautious. जो mother star है, उसने comet को बोला कि उनको क्या रखनी चाहिए? सतर्कता रखनी चाहिए बिकॉज इफ कॉमेट मूव नियर टू द सन अगर जो कॉमेट है अगर वो सन के क्या करेगा पास में चला जाएगा यस इट वुड वैनिश तो वो क्या हो जाएगा वो वैनिश हो जाएगा डिसअपियर हो जाएगा ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट Pick out a pair of rhyming words from this stanza. जो हमारे जो stanza दे रखे हैं poem में उसमें से हमको rhyming words देखने हैं जो rhyming words होते हैं जिसके जो भी हमारे जो sound होते हैं fear, near देखिए example है ना fear, near जो ये क्या है rhyming words है. Number second, 
and as she talked and tossed her head and switched her shining trail the state old mother star grew said her cheek grew wan and pale now question is here who is she in the above stanza yes kon hai is stanza ke andar she kisko refer kiya hai kisko ke bare mein bataya yes the comet is the she in this stanza to kisko bataya hai comet ko now next question what does growing wan and pale signify hum baat kar rahe hain ki jo signify kar raha hai usko reveal kar raha hai baat kar rahe hain kiski baat rahe mein matlab jo uh, growing wan and pale ko darshata hai kya darshata hai yes it signifies the sadness and old age of the mother star ye kisko darshata hai ki jo uski jo mother star hai uski sadness ko aur unki jo old age hai unko darshata hai okay number See, as a next question, identify the figure of speech used in poem and give example. देखिए जो हमारे जिस poem है उसके अंदर हमको identify करना है कि कौन सी figure of speech दी गई है. Yes, the figure of speech is given here as a personification. Yes, student, what is a personification? इसमें एक वो क्या लिखूँ? Yes, student. Personification. Yes, personification is the process of giving objects or animals human-like character. Personification को हम क्या बोलते हैं हिंदी में मानवीकरण. जो personification जो मानवीकरण होता है, जब poem में हम क्या करते हैं कोई भी प्रकृति को मनुष्य की तरह व्यवहार करते हुए दिखाया जाए, तो उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं मानवीकरण अलंकार कहते हैं. Okay. So personification given an object or animal human's character to create इंटरेस्टिंग इमेजनरी जो भी हमारे जो पोयम है उसको इंटरेस्टिंग बनाने के लिए उनको रुचिकर बनाने के लिए जो भी ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैं जो भी एनिमल्स हैं उसको क्या दे देते हैं क्वालिटी किसी क्वालिटी दे देते हैं विमेन की क्वालिटी दे देते हैं तो उसी को हम क्या बोलते हैं पर्सोनिफिकेशन ओके Yes, student. In this question, so personification is uh, given here. Yes, she talked, tossed her head, and switched her shining trail. Her cheek grew wan and pale. So in this uh, stanza, the poet given a personification. Yes, the personification you know very well. Given an object or human animal, given an object or animal human characteristic. Okay, to create interesting imaginary. So in this chapter, you know. Very well. Then we talk about a comet and his mother star. हमने comet और mother star के बारे में बात करी थी, जिसका क्या किया रहा है, मानवीय करण क्या है, क्या जो human का जो behaviour है, उस behaviour को किसकी तरह imaginary किसकी तरह show कर रहा है, as a human behaviour को as a comet में और उसकी mother के अंदर ये show किया कि comet है, not a little comet है, वो sun के near चला जाएगा तो vanish हो जाएगा, है ना? So she talked and tossed her head. So here she talked वो से बात करती है, उसको अपना हेड हिलाती हैं एंड स्विच हर शाइनिंग ट्रेल यस हर चीक ग्रू वन एंड पेल और उसके जो चीक होते हैं मदर की बात कर रहे हैं कि उसके जो चीक है क्या हम बात कर रहे हैं हमने क्या दिया है पर्सोनिफिकेशन दिया है किसमें कि उसके जो चीक हैं वो धीरे-धीरे क्या हो रहे वन मतलब वीक हो रहे हैं उसकी एज क्या हो रही है नो दिन ओल्ड हो रही है वो ओके सो हियर इन दिस स्टैंडर्ड द वर्ड सिग्निफिकेंस द पर्सोनिफिकेशन ओके स्टूडेंट सो आई होप have to clear this chapter